Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week two overview, September 10th to September 14th. During this week, we are going to talk about physical and chemical parts of the lesson, physical properties, pages 45 to 47, examples of physical properties. Your main objectives for this lesson is to describe physical properties of matter, identify substances based on their physical properties. So physical properties of matter are characteristics that can be observed or measured without changing the substance's chemical com composition. These properties include attributes such as color, shape, size, texture, density, melting point, and boiling point in addition to conductivity. They help us identify and classify different types of matter. For example, the physical property of density can be used to differentiate between substances that are more or less dense than others. Understanding the physical properties of matter is essential in fields like chemistry and materials science, as it allows us to study and manipulate substances based on their unique characteristics. Also, we are going to identify substances based on their physical properties. So by examining the physical properties of substances, we can identify and differentiate them. For example, we can distinguish between substances based on their color, shape, texture, and density. Additionally, properties such as melting point and boiling point can provide further clues about the identity of a substance. Also, conductivity is another physical property that can help us identify certain substances. By analyzing and comparing these properties, scientists can determine the composition and nature of different substances. The second part of this lesson is using physical properties to separate mixtures. Your main objectives for this lesson is to describe methods used to separate mixtures and identify evidence that indicates a physical change is taking place. So, technically, to separate mixtures, various methods can be employed based on the physical properties of the substances involved. Some common methods include filtration, distillation, chromatography, and evaporation. While filtration is used to separate solid particles from a liquid or gas by passing the mixture through a filter medium. Distillation involves heating a mixture to separate its components based on differences in boiling points. Chromatography utilizes the varying affinities of substances to a mobile and stationary phase allowing for separation and lastly evaporation is employed to separate a soluble solid from a liquid by heating the mixture causing the liquid to evaporate and leaving behind the solid these methods enable scientists to isolate and purify substances in a mixture Then, we are going to the other part of the lesson, which is observing chemical properties. Your main objective for this lesson is to describe chemical properties of matter. Identify clues that indicate the chemical change is taking place. So, chemical properties of matter refer to how substances interact and react with other substances, leading to changes in their chemical composition. These properties include flammability, reactivity, and acidity. For example, a substance with a high flammability will readily ignite and burn in the presence of a flame. Reactivity refers to how readily a substance will react with other substances to form a new compound. Acidity describes the ability of a substance to react with acids. Stability refers to the tendency of a substance to remain unchanged or undergo chemical changes over time. Understanding the chemical properties of matter helps scientists predict and explain how, how substances will behave in different chemical reactions and environment. 
going to have our are going to be able to distinguish chemical change from physical change. Chemical changes involve a transformation at the molecular level, resulting in the formation of new substances with different chemical properties. Physical changes, on the other hand, do not alter the molecular composition of a substance and only affect its physical state or appearance. For example, when wood burns and turns into ash, it is a chemical change because new substances are formed. On the other hand, when ice melts into water, it is a physical change because the substance remains the same, only changing its state from solid to liquid. I can't wait to see you this week. We have very interesting activities.